Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Simply Wise app and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you scan a receipt with your Simply Wise app? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to scan a receipt with your Simply Wise app? Well, that's pretty easy. That's the purpose of the app is to organize your different receipts and track your expenses because it can get kind of messy if you just have handfuls of receipts laying around. Whatever the case is it's a pretty easy process it's handled here in the simply wise app it's this blue and white one here on the top right check my video description i'll try to leave the written instructions there as well but i'm going to go ahead and open my simply wise app now okay guys i went ahead and opened my simply wise app this is the home screen now here on the home screen if you want to scan a receipt it's pretty simple all you're going to do is click on this little camera icon down here on the bottom right okay once you do that it's going to open up the camera on your cell phone so if you're going to batch capture receipt you want to click right here and that way you can upload multiple receipts at once or you can do them one by one which is what we're going to do today and you want to click on single also if you already snapped a picture of the receipt you can go ahead and import it right here but today we're going to go ahead and take a photo of the receipt so i have this deposit slip right here and all you're going to do is just when you lift your phone it's going to open up the camera and then when you're ready you're just going to snap the picture okay you can see it scanning okay so the cool thing about simply wise it's going to scan the document and it's going to try to pull information just by scanning it so you can see it automatically read that this document is from Chase. So in order to organize this receipt that you just scanned, you want to click right here on folders and just kind of go down one line at a time. So folders. Okay. Here you want to go ahead and choose what this receipt was for. So if it was for your car, if it was income, office expense, go ahead and choose. So for this one, we'll just do personal. And you can of course choose more than one folder if you want to tag it as supplies and personal, if that applies and then click on save. Okay. So you can see it's marked right here as a personal folder. And then here in the notes, you can go ahead and note what this receipt was for. So let's just say work meeting dinner. All right. And then we'll click on done. Okay. The merchant, they pulled it as chase just because that was automatically scanned, but you can change that. You just go ahead and just type it in there. The date, you can go ahead and put the date of the transaction. And then the total, you can go ahead and let's just say that dinner was $200. And normally if it was just a regular receipt, it would just scan the receipt and it's automatically going to pull the amounts. So, and then we'll just put the tax in at $20 and then I'll click on done and save. Okay. And down here on the line items, you can go ahead and list every single item that was purchased. So again, if this was, for example, a work dinner, you're going to go ahead and just put in there dinner for Paul, dinner for Sam, and you can split it up that way if you wish to do so. And then if you scroll down to payment, you can disclose how you made your payment with these payment methods, or you can even add the cards if you used your credit card to pay for that dinner. And we'll go back. Okay. And then here you can go ahead and add a reminder. So if this is something that you purchased, let's say a work computer, Simply Wise can remind you before the return deadline. So if you have 30 days to return it, you can just mark that here. And then that way you get notification to return that item if you need to. So once you fill that out, it's going to save the image right here. And then you have all the data there and we'll just click on save. Okay. Now my receipt has been scanned into Simply Wise. So that way I can go ahead and reference that back later. So if I want to find that transaction, I can easily just click right here into personal because we tagged it as a personal expense. And then as you see right there, there is the transaction and it loads the image of the receipt along with all the data that we had put in. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to scan a receipt on Simply Wise, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.